You right? Look at this! Right lads, come here often! This is unbelievable! This is unbelievable! Type of stones, here we come. I cannot believe this. This is unbelievable. Full up climbs. often okay so I think it was mr. shenanigans obviously a nickname okay so this is the following day from yesterday's website video we've just had an amazing flight so I will try and explain some of the weight range um, uh, what would the word be Sean how to work out the, the weight range so first of all on all paragliders there'll be a little placard and it will show you the weight from and to so let's just show you that first where is that placard always on a wing it's, it's always in the center section in the old days it was on the wing tips so i've just i haven't prepared so i've got to find it because i've just pulled these closed Like being prepared, I think that's a wingtip. <laughs> think of this way. Yeah, here we go. Here's the middle. Here it is. Here it is. So, this is my wing, my personal wing. Get my hand inside. Here we are. Look, so it tells you everything about the wing there. So, it shows you here that it's a Theta ULS 27 and it's 90 to 112. So also notice, where's the weight? There, there's the, where's the weight? Look, the weight of the glider, 3.80 kilogram. Not that square again. So it's, in, it's important to know the weight of the glider. So you can add that weight to the weight of the harness that you buy. To the weight, to the weight of the harness you buy. Uh, your vario, your radio, your clothing, your helmet, your water, your food, and that will be your all up weight. So when I pack this now, and it's on my back, and I'm walking back to the car, that's my all up weight with my clothing on and with all my gear. And yourself. And myself. It's the everything. So it's me being, I think I'm <clears throat> 89 kilo or something, and then all of this weight. So what we'll do is we'll pack it now and we'll go back to the man cave and I'll get the scales out and I'll show you that all at weight and where I where I lay where I lie sorry in those weight ranges of the wing so uh, we'll go and do that now cheers well that was super epic shiny had a nice flight you're not flown for a bit have you I haven't flown for a bit because I've been too busy teaching and building websites and building websites <laughs> so that was ace so um, after that I got a bit of aerial footage and um, we'll do a bit of talking about a bit more in depth about the weights and how to figure out what glider you want. 
and the uh, sweet spot the sweet sp yeah. sweet spot for the weight range personally I always fly um, at the top end of the weight range so I like well. to be a bit heavier so does Sean and so do all our students really so we tend to fly a bit more to the top end of the weight range so. they're a bit less prone to tucks because you're a bit heavier they they thermal better they dig into turns better you don't want to be over the weight range otherwise on light wind days like th light thermic days you may be going down so you don't want to be over the top but around a bit more to middle to the top we think it's a bit better really be a bit more solid less chance of tucks but anyway we'll do a bit more explanation of that when we get back if any of you fancy learning with us or being fly guided uh one-to-one -one tuition this is our local hill check this out beautiful beauty england is stunning when the weather's like this we've just flown from the hill behind the forest here and flown across and landed over there but look at this you can see all the welsh mountains that those are what drop down into the sea over there we've got a hill over here as well a nursery slope for students and we're just walking up to the car now anyway we'll see you back at the uh, man cave and we'll do a bit more okay that was fantastic flying so let me explain a bit more about your weight and how it all works with your glider and your equipment so get yourself your scales out and stand on them and I'm reading about 80 88 kilogram but that's just me myself so the way to get it exact if you've already got your own equipment is to as I said back at the landing field put it all on your back now so you've got everything with you your clothing your water your food everything radio instruments the lot and stand on the scales whatever that weight is is your all up weight then check your glider wing and see where you fall into that weight range okay so um i should be around about not the middle i should be fairly sort of uh, three quarters of the way into the weight range uh, well I am I don't I'm not there's no should be about it I am so that's where we tend to sit our students anywhere from three quarters to the top of the weight range the wings just feel a bit more solid like that a bit more safe feeling they thermal they bite a bit better into the thermals so yeah that that's about where we sit on our wings hope that helps